you are an expert in coaching people through obstacles. And obstacles, I almost liken them to a journey because you're on a journey and all of a sudden they appear. Mm -hmm. So how do you coach people through those obstacles? What is the first step in getting past them? <laughs> so the first thing I do about coaching, because the challenge with obstacles is if you, if you lack belief or a real desire to do it, an obstacle is an excuse to just quit. That's good, so, I haven't heard that before. Yeah, well, it's. I have an approach that I call the AIM, which is about aspiration, uh -huh. inspiration, and motivation. And aspirations, do you want to do it? Yes. So it's like my diet. I don't really want to do it. <laughs> so there, there's, as soon as I get to a point where there's no salad in the fridge and there's just that burger, what do you I'm, do? Yeah, I'm going to quit and yes. I'm going to I'm going to quit and go. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that the that the goal that they want to achieve, they're really passionate about and aligned with. Because right. when they do that, they'll climb over a lot of the smaller obstacles themselves. Then the second thing we need to do, so that's aspiration, that's the desire to do it. Then there's inspiration. And I do speaking as well, and people say, are you a motivational speaker? No, I'm an inspirational speaker. Because inspiration is about giving people the belief that they can do it. And and you do that by creating a plan that they, they can believe in. So when I did my... I mentioned before I, I, I ran a marathon at 52 and my two best friends said you're too fat, you're too old, you're too unfit and when I explained them my simple plan of you run for 15 minutes a day week one, you add five minutes, the following week you run for 20 minutes and then you the next week you run for 25 and the next week you run for 25 and after 26 weeks you run for four hours, now you can do a marathon. You took baby steps towards Correct. it, right? And they looked yeah. at me and they said, we'll do it with you. I didn't have to persuade them. Oh, that's they great. looked at the plan and they thought, yeah, that's doable. We'll do it with you. So you have to give people a plan and also as well examples. So when I did that marathon, um, the the example that got me through was uh, a gentleman called Faruja Singh. Okay. He's a hundred years old. He ran the London Marathon in seven and a half hours. Now, I'm too fat. Okay, he was thinner than I am, but a uh, hundred years old. Oh he's certainly goodness. older than I am, <laughs> and you know, I'm fifty. I was fifty-two at the time. Please don't tell me he's fitter than me. Uh, at hundred right. years old. Uh -huh. So there's two examples right. of you know I'm not too old. I'm not too unfit. So now I, I've seen somebody who I think I could beat that's done it. I have a plan I believe in, and now those obstacles, they just shrink, they just get lower to the point that I can just climb over them, and, and that's what you need to do. And then the third part is uh, motivation, and as a leader, uh, when I lead teams, motivation is just me saying, good job, well done, yeah, keep going, right. go on, you've got this. And it's just encouraging people to keep going. I love that. So it's aspiration, aspiration. inspiration, yep. and motivation. Yeah. Aim for success. Oh, I love that. that <laughs> and the king of amazing. simplicity. Right, right. It's almost like the force for the trees, right? Yes. Because if you walk up to <clears throat> something that you want to do and mm. you are looking at the entire project, mm. it, it's it's intimidating. It's, it makes you fearful. But if you take that one small tree and you're like, you know what, I can, I can get past that. And then you keep moving. That's It's important. Well, one of the things, again, that I find when I'm coaching people is they go like, oh, I'm overwhelmed. There's mm. too much to do. No, that's not true. You just don't know where to start. Right. Because once you start then you'll see what's important and as you start to see the, the progress it will motivate you and, and then some of the things that you thought were important will just drop away and you'll start to go forward so you need to you need to know where to start you need to have a clear plan and then when you do that you'll go but one of the challenges is we um, we love to overcomplicate things that that is very true that is very true and yep.